A very good morning, all of you. Myself, Rupali Nanekar Dasaraju from Department of Biotechnology. Uh, I welcome you all. So today we are going to talk about the topic of classification of nutraceuticals. Now, before jumping on the topic of the classification of nutraceuticals, you should know what are the nutraceuticals. There is a proverb which is saying that let food be your medicine, not medicine be your food. That means you should consume food as a part of your daily health. That doesn't mean that you have to consume medicine as your food. So take your food very seriously so that it cannot get converted into medicine. So as in the last two sessions, we have seen the classification of nutraceutical in dietary fibers and probiotic. So today our topic is prebiotics. Classification of nutraceutical based upon their natural forming are been done in the different seven types. In last two sessions, we have already covered about the dietary fibers. We have already covered about the probiotics. Now let's see what is prebiotics. Prebiotic, food for your gut health. What is gut health? In the last lecture, I was telling you that our gut health is very important. Why important? Because our gut is related to lot of health issues. So if our gut is not proper maintained, so that could be leading to a lot of issues and a lot of problems, a lot of disease, colon cancers, a lot of digestion issues, gastritis, ulcers and a lot of content. For that, we have to maintain our health. For maintenance of the health, you should have prebiotics and probiotics. So this prebiotic, that is the food for the gut health, is important. So let's see what is prebiotic. On to your right hand side, you can see a gift which is playing. Someone is eating someone. What is that? A good flora that is a good bacteria prebiotics are nothing but the substances that are going to induce the growth and activity of our good microorganisms like bacteria or fungus and this prebiotic food are going to be very important for probiotic pre and probiotics are always correlated to each other for the well-being of the host who are the host we are the host for them. So this is the most common example of GI tract infection where prebiotic can alter the composition of your organisms in the gut microbiome. That is the environment present inside your gut. So prebiotic will help us for maintaining the gut health where it could be typically a non-digestible fibrous compound which is passed undigested through your upper part of your body and it could trying to be colonizing in the bowel area. So this is where your colonization colonization which has been happening where you have a lot of other sources playing into the part. In other sources basically you have prebiotic sources like the non-digestible part. You can have soya bean, you can have raw oats, you can have unrefined barley, you can have milk, you can have that is a breast milk which has been given to the children itself. You can have highly non-digestible part of di the particular carbohydrates. You can have galacto oligosaccharide. Now what are this? These are the sources of prebiotic for maintaining your gut health. For maintaining the proper amount of gut health which is one of the criteria for fulfilling the classification of your prebiotic. Now, an ideal prebiotic should have a lot of properties. Let's see what are their properties. It should be resistance to the action of acids. Today we had prebiotic. It, we have a lot of gastric juices in our body. We have a lot of enzymes present. It is degrading in the stomach itself. Then what is the use of that? So for that purpose, you should have action on the acids present in our stomach or the lining. So it should be resistance to that. Also resistant to the bile salt, we do have bile salts itself and other hydrolytic enzyme. We have eaten it, action it, so there is no use in consuming prebiotic. Consume so for that purpose, you should have, the first part is resistant. The second part, if you can see, it should be adsorbed or absorbed inside your upper intestinal gastro tract. We have a GI tract, we have large colon, we have small intestine, large intestine, we have the colon region, we have stomach. So this should have adsorption into your gastrointestinal tract. Third thing, it should be easily fermentable. A fermentation can lead to a lot of byproducts. Fermentation will help to grow the natural gut flora. That is the main motive of it. Okay. Next, 
these are the examples of different kind of prebiotic food which you can have you can have legumes you can have buckwheat you can have onion garlic honey apples you can have grains so this is a major difference probiotic and prebiotic prebiotic is maintaining the part of probiotics प्रोबायोटिक्स में हो सकता है हम गट फ्लोरा के माइक्रोब्स भी खा रहे हैं लाइक योर योगर्ट बटर मिल्क एंड लॉट ऑफ अदर डेरी प्रोडक्ट प्रीबायोटिक इज मेंटेनिंग देम दैट इज अ मेजर पार्ट ऑफ प्री एंड प्रोबायोटिक्स व्हाट आर द हेल्थ बेनिफिट्स इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द प्रीबायोटिक इटसेल्फ reduce the inflammation if you have colon cancer if you have colon related kind of conditions it can reduce the colon cancer lowering some of the risk factors of cardiovascular disease is because it is playing an important part as a nutraceuticals promoting the safety weight loss working as a part of the obesity trying to protect the effectiveness and preventing different kind of colon cancer antibiotic associated diseases lot of pathogen fighting against the pathogen because we are working on the gut flora so these are the various kind of health benefits of your prebiotics again it can be helping us for selectively influencing our microbiota you can see on a gif he is trying to eat the pathogen that is present inside who is doing that our gut flora so that's why the prebiotic is playing a very important role in our gut flora and as a part of the your nutraceutical what kind of bacteria you can have the genera that is uh, overpowering in the part of our stomach is bifidobacterium and you also have lactobacillus very good of them and again you can have the fermentation of this prebiotic and releasing into the fatty acids you can have multiple effects of this product on to your body itself so thank you so much so today we have completed three topics of your classification of nutraceuticals that is dietary fibers probiotics and prebiotics so this three plays a very important role as a functional food as a nutraceuticals in your day to day life to maintain your flora to maintain your gut to prevent different kind of diseases from your body this all are the references for all of the content thank you so much we'll meet next time